Today, I'm going to show you how you can easily track your website visitors in WordPress. So this weekend I was going through, I wanted to see what were my top affiliate links because I have affiliate links on my website and it's Q4. So I want to find out ways that I can increase that. So I also wanted to see like, what are my top performing pages, meaning how many people are coming to a particular web page that I can add more affiliate links. And then I realized, well, that's probably something that you'll want to know as well. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to do all of that. The cool thing about it is, you can track not only affiliate links, but you can see your website visitors on your site. And that gives you a good idea of what content is resonating with your audience. How much more content do you want to make around that? You can also see what websites are sending a lot of traffic to you. There's just so many analytics that you can see, and we'll go through all of that. The easiest way to know how your website is doing in search engines is by setting up Google Analytics for your website. And I've covered a whole detailed list on how to create Google Analytics and then how to connect it to your website. If you want, we'll have a link in the description below on how to set that up completely. But Google Analytics usually requires adding snippets of code to your site. It could be a little tricky. So that's why we always recommend using something like Monster Insights because Monster Insights will connect your website with Google Analytics and it does it really well. And it does a few other things that you don't have to set up specific code. So you want to install and set up Monster Insights as well. And like I said, I go through that whole process in the other video, but once you have all of this set up, it'll be a little bit of time that you'll want to start tracking the analytics on your site because you got to give it a couple of days or a couple of hours to start seeing the data. But then once you start to see that, then you get a report like this. This is the overview on Monster Insights. Once everything's set up, you can either have it on your dashboard like this, or you can come down here to Insights, Reports, and this will also show. And this is everything. So the overview reports, it just gives you a good idea of what's coming to your website. This is the number of sessions, meaning the number of users new and returning that come to your website every day. You can also toggle this to see how many page views. And then if you scroll down, you get another breakdown of this. Again, the sessions, how many people are coming to your site, new or used. It's the session that they have, the number of page views. So how many pages does your site receive? And that could be multiple page views in one session or across multiples. Then you have the average view duration. So how long are they staying on your site? And then the total number of users. And then you have a breakdown of new versus returning. Is your website the type where people will come back to it? Do you want it to be a type where people will come back to it? So seeing this breakdown, how do you increase that number of returning percentage? You also see the device breakdown, which I like because the device breakdown tells you who else coming to your site from a desktop or a tablet or a mobile. That way you can really gear the design of your site to that audience. And then your top countries. So who's your top country that's sending you the traffic as well as top referrals. This is a demo site, so I don't get too many top referrals, but what's cool about the top referrals is like who's sending you traffic. And this is perfect. If you want to reach out to them, maybe say thank you. If it's something where you can talk with them about collaborating on something, you could do that, or you can just see why are they referring you, send them more information to send more traffic your way. If you scroll down even further, this will tell you your top pages. So this is perfect if you're wanting to do more of the thing, you know, if your top page is a particular website or a particular post, then is this the kind of traffic that is resonating with your audience? So maybe you can make more of that. So that is really cool. And that's how you track that. Then we can go through and if you look at publishers, it's one of my favorite reports because this will tell us a lot more about the makeup of our site. Again, it's the top landing pages. So which one is our top performing pages that we can either create more content on or in my case, I was finding my top pages because I wanted to add more affiliate links on those top pages so I can see if I can boost up my affiliate rankings. If you're into affiliate marketing, then that's something that you could do as well. And then scrolling down, you have your top outbound links. So who are you sending more traffic to? Before it was the referrals who's sending traffic to you, but now who are you sending more traffic to? Which is helpful because if you're sending a lot of traffic to someone, maybe that's your opportunity to reach out to them if they have an affiliate program, you can ask to become one of their affiliates. Or if you're sending traffic to them and you think that their audience would benefit from one of your posts or pages or one of your articles that you have, then you could reach out to them and say, hey, I think your audience would benefit from this article if you consider adding a link to it or something like that. And then top affiliate links. So if you do any kind of affiliate marketing, you can show your top affiliate links. This is all the links 
that people are clicking on. And this helps you figure out, okay, what are you promoting? Are you getting good revenue from that promotion? Are people actually buying after they click on that affiliate link? If they're not buying, then that might not be a good fit for your audience. This tells you a lot. And this is actually what I was digging into quite a bit over the weekend. And then scrolling down, if you give a download link, if you are doing kind of a freebie for your email address, then this can tell you how many downloads people are doing for your site. Again, a lot of this is through Monster Insights. They set it up so you don't have to. And then you can also see the age and gender. So what type of audience are you resonating with and so that you can create more content for them. You can also do things like the interests, like what are they interested in? And that would give you a, a good idea here. And then if you see the scroll, so this is how far down on the page they will go. This tells you a few things. First, if it doesn't go very far, then maybe your content isn't resonating with your audience and maybe you need to do something else to get them to scroll down even further and to read all of it. The other thing it's telling you is if they're not scrolling down very far, wherever they are scrolling to, you want to make sure that your important links, your important affiliate links, your important ads, your important ad revenue, your important download links, that those are up above where they can see them before they leave. So that's actually very telling as well. So I love the publishers tab. It tells you quite a bit. And then search console. This is another area. Again, this is connecting your website with the Google search console. If you haven't set that up, I have another link in the description where we walk you through exactly how to set up your site so that you can see all of your data from Google search console. But basically Google search console tells you things like what is your top terms that your site is ranking for? What are the clicks and impressions click through average position? So what are you ranking for in Google search results? And this will tell you right here so that you can either try to improve those or if there are keywords that you're ranking for that you didn't mean to, but it's helpful for your audience, then that tells you some things that you might want to consider creating more content for. So Search Console is really, really cool too. And then if you have e-commerce set up, I don't have it, but I'll show you that this is also another report that you can do. And this will tell you things like your conversion rate on your products. It gives you how many transactions you've had in that given time period, it gives you the revenue that you've had, and then the average order value. It'll also tell you your top products so you can create more of those or bundle them or do more of what's working really well, as well as your top conversion sources. So that's like, what are people sending traffic to you? You know, if you're doing Google ads or Facebook ads, this will tell you your top conversion sources so you can do more of that as well. Really cool feature to have right here. And then dimensions report. This is something if you want to set up tracking for say your top categories or most popular categories and tags or post types or authors. If you wanted to do that, you could track that here. And then forms, if you have a form installed, then you can see your top performing forms, the conversion rate of those forms, the impressions. So how many times people have seen it and then how many times it's been converted. That's all very helpful for you, especially if you're setting up a quote site or a quote page, things like that. That's very helpful. Another cool feature that I like is the real time. So this just gives you a snapshot of that exact moment and the active users on your site. Again, this is a demo site, so you're not going to see much going on. This is kind of helpful for, you know, just seeing, did you launch something and did it go well? And so you're seeing a lot of traffic at any one point in time. Then you can see the top pages that people are going to, the top cities that they're coming from. So did you launch something in a particular city or country? You can see that here as well. So just a nice little area. And then they'll do a little site speed, to tell you how your site is doing. So really cool reports for you all from within your own dashboard in a very actionable way to see how your website is doing. So you can do more of that. So knowing how, what kind of traffic is coming to your site, what kind of pages are coming to your site, it just gives you more information on what to do more of, what to do less of, what to improve on. And that's the best way to do it. If you're wanting to get started with something like this, make sure you watch this video as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create and set up Google Analytics using Monster Insights on your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.